Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. This is part two of a three-part series on composition. Today we're going to be talking about eye movement through geometric configurations. And you're looking at the Mona Lisa here done by Leonardo da Vinci who is a master at creating eye movement through geometric configurations. Now what is eye movement? Well eye movement is the way a viewer's eye moves through a piece of artwork. This is illustrated here with a canvas in a line going through the canvas and out the bottom. You want to make sure when you create a piece of artwork that your viewer sees everything on the surface that you want them to. So you can control the way a viewer's eye moves through the piece of artwork. Now it's proven that geometric configurations are more aesthetically pleasing to viewers. So it would make sense to create eye movement through geometric configurations. Here's one here, a triangular geometric configuration. This one is in fact the one that Leonardo used in his Mona Lisa uh, composition. Here's a quick sketch to illustrate that composition. Just a simple landscape with a mountain in the background, but you can clearly see that triangular geometric configuration at work here. If we put lines over the top, you can see how this was intended to control the viewer's eye. Here's another example of that. Here we have a strong diagonal line that goes through the middle of the piece. This is encouraging a viewer's eye to move from the upper left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner. Here's a sketch to illustrate that point. And then when we take red lines and put over it, you can see how the viewer's eye movement is influenced by this composition. There are countless ways that you can use geometric configurations to control a viewer's eye movement through your artwork. It's all about creating a good composition through eye movement. This has been another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com.